All right, a very good morning to you. Of course, it's, it's, we have just begun our engagement with my guest. But anyway, many thanks to Barry Moses for that uh, engaging conversation with the previous guest. Uh, that is the videographer and the editor. Uh, well, we're going to talk about some uh, skills. What do you need for the market anyway? Have you gone to campus? But then, what are the skills that you got? This morning, joining me on Sat uh, too, man. Joining me, uh, let me begin from the COO, the Chief Operating Officer, King Matu. That is the CEO of uh, Generation? Yes, correct. Karibu sana. Sante sana. Yes, yes. If by chance I, 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 I'm thinking I might have left something out that you feel you need to introduce yourself. No. You're good to go with the CEO? I'm perfectly okay. Thank you Chief very much. Officer. Being executive, you know, I'm only the CEO and we're done with that bit. <laughs> All right, let's come to the young man, of course. Uh, James Mogi. Yes. The name itself has quite a big attribute, Manze, to significant man in the country. True. Uh, I, I'll just say that we are many of us <laughs> with the same name. In fact, the same two names. Uh -huh. My name is James Mwangi Ngoge, uh -huh. and uh, I am a Generation Kenya alumnus. You're trying to make it look so English, you know? Juroge, you know, that thing. Well, uh, thing. however you like it, we can mix <laughs> all of them. All right, Karibuni Zano. Uh, probably can begin uh, from this side, from the COO, because he's the main guy of the day here. Who is, what is Generation? Uh, that's a great question. So Generation is a youth training to employment program mm -hmm. um, that was founded five years ago. Um, our partners, McKinsey and company, did a study and realized that there is a big gap between what employers are looking for at the entry level. Uh, for jobs at the entry level, there is a big skills mismatch. All right. uh, and they came up with a concept of how do we train uh, people who will be ready to add some value to employers who are looking for that talent uh, at entry level. We got some funding um, from USID right. to start the programs. And over time, we have continued to get more funding. Right now, we are funded by um, USID, as I mentioned. We are also funded by SIDA, the Swedish mm -hmm. International Development Agency. We are funded by IKEA Foundation. Safaricom Foundation, as well, is one right. of our partners. Um, and they help us with the funds that we have to run this particular program. Wow. Um, so, so far, we have trained 17,400 plus students, and 84% of them have been placed into jobs. Hey, you're making me be left like, man, I got skills, I got talent, really. Because you mentioned about skills, you mentioned about talent. Yes. And these go hand in hand, you know. They, they do go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, so, what we do is, before we design a program, yeah. we do a market sizing or market scanning study to probably understand, to actually understand what are the employers looking for in a specific sector? For example, in the financial services, what skills and competencies are looking are they looking for? Mm -hmm. um, and what are their struggles with entry-level jobs? And once we understand that, then we come and we develop a program in partnership with the industry and with the employers, and then we train, and then the employers hire. The advantage to the employers is that they get a better return on investment, which oh. really means that the students that they get from generation uh, produce at 60 to 70 percent better mm -hmm. than somebody who just came uh, from, you know, because from the normal recruitment channel. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because we train them for mm -hmm. it. Um, their quality is good. Mm -hmm. um, the attitude is fantastic. They've got certain behavioral and attitude skills that you're looking for. They're still longer in the job, so <laughs> the retention is there. They're easier to promote. Uh -huh. um, they're, so easier to promote. they're easier to promote. I think I need uh, them to come. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then if, if you're hiring, let us know. We'll bring a few people. Uh, I think I need to come for, for me to get a promotion, probably. If, if you're I struggling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, you've talked more than 100 yeah. things that we yeah. can even talk right now. Correct. But let's talk about um, the issue of the, the five-year span that you've been globally. You've yes. been functioning for over five, for five years, actually, to be specific. Yes, we just celebrated our fifth year birthday. Yes, uh, in yes. November. Yes, now you're in Kenya. Yes. There's uh, doing uh, some quite uh, tremendous stuff in Kenya, and you're really advancing the lives of young people. That's correct. We, we, we are looking at statistics, and we're getting shocked when we look at the rate of unemployment in the country. Yes. And of, uh, of under reemployment and under even informed. Some people are not even informed about the marketplace. Yes. What do you think we need to, to help? What do we, do we need to do to remedy all things? Uh, well, the youth unemployment challenge is not only a Kenya mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a global challenge. Yeah. Uh, of course, within the Western Hemisphere, the challenges are different as opposed to Africa. Um, but what some of the things that I feel as a country that we need to do is that we all need to collaborate. So mm -hmm. it's not the government that solely should look at you mm -hmm. know this youth problem. It's everybody, the employers, <laughs> training partners like yeah. us, donors who are helping. 
Uh, and the idea is that we need to match yeah. who, the skills that are needed for entry-level talent uh, to the employers that are employing. Because employers, most of them care about finances. So yes, what you give the, back. Exactly. Are you productive? So, are you productive? Are you producing? Do you have the right attitude? Mm -hmm. Are you able to add some value? And these are things that a lot of people do not know or don't have the ability to, uh, to produce. And that's when generation comes in and we help them with three things. The first one, of course, is uh, the mental skills that right. you need. Mental uh, skills. Mental skills is mm -hmm. first. The second one is the behavioral skills that All you right. need to understand when you actually get a job. How, mm -hmm. do, I, how do I conduct myself? And then the third one, which is also very important, is the technical skills. We want wow. somebody who has a skill that can actually produce and earn money for the organization that they are working for. Thank you for mentioning the three, the three, the three main key things yeah. that you guys are trying to help with the young people. Mm -hmm. uh, among the three, which one do you think is the most predominant in the, in the job market? Um, I think attitude, my mental ability to, and, 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 and hindsight to be able to manage challenges that come your way with uh, foresight and wisdom mm -hmm. is very, very important. Um, however, skills are also good. Paramount. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very important for you to have skills. But I feel skills are easy to get, uh, but the way you think, the way you conduct yourself needs a bit more training, a bit more wisdom, more coaching, more mentorship for you to get to the level that is required. And when you talk about skills and talent, we have a young man right next to you. And uh, he's the young man that, he has a big name as we said. Yes. And let's talk, who, who, what, who is James, why are you here, and what do you do? Well, James is a, I'm 26 years old, young 26. man. Mm -hmm. I am three things. I am a journalist, and I am a creative, and I am a sewing machines operations. Uh, let's say I am a fashion designer of my own kind. Eh? Mm -hmm. So when I went to school and, uh, you know, after I graduated from campus and campus Tamaki, 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 I was at Presbyterian University. Right. I did journalism and mass communications at the diploma level. I graduated. I started Tamaki here and there. Of course, I worked in a few stations. Mm -hmm. And then in 2018, I learned about Generation Kenya. But deep inside me all this time, I was really, 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 really wishing that I could get an, an opportunity to go to a college to study fashion and design. Right. Even when I was in campus. But of course, I was not at the point to fund myself to, you know, these expensive colleges. But uh, I learned about Generation mm -hmm. through their social media uh, sites. And I learned that they have a sewing machine operations program. Mm -hmm. So I immediately, without any hesitation, without consulting with anybody, <laughs> got into it. And I was screened and I was tested and found fit to, to go into the program. And within three months, I was a guru. <laughs> I was a guru yeah, in this sewing. You're not guru. You are yes. veteran by now. I became a guru in <laughs> sewing. And uh, immediately after the, the, uh, the, the, the training, uh -huh. I was absorbed immediately because we were actually getting trained in a sewing factory. Right. So we would get trained and get into the job immediately. Mm -hmm. I went there and I sewed, I worked for quite some time, and then an opportunity to travel outside the country opened up for me. I went to Qatar, mm -hmm. again I started working in a, in a uniform making company of course, it was a factory, and then after that, I came back to, to the country in April this year. And uh, in May, another opportunity opened up for me to James, go down James to Mombasa. James must be very lucky to have such kind of opportunities even to go abroad. Well, that's what you do when, that's what happens when you're driven by passion, uh -huh. and you really, really are uh, building your skill mm -hmm. above, uh, beyond uh, the training, yes. through the experience, and through me being a creative, mm -hmm. I was able to perfect my skill up to a point where uh, when I was down at Mombasa, I worked as a quality checker. Right. That means that I was the one who was approving the quality of all the people who were sitting in that factory. I was in a line of about 70, 70, uh, 70 operators, mm -hmm. but whatever they produced, I was the one who was uh, approving the quality and taking it, uh, you know, ahead for shipment, such things. All right, that's quite a good, a good uh, conversation you've given us and a good engagement. Okay. We've got more than a hundred things to ask, but before then, you have mentioned something about the cause that you are taking. Yes. Before we come back to you, let me go back to the COO. 
uh, sewing is just a branch of the courses that you have been doing. You have over five courses. Now. Yes, we do. Um, and so, just to mention, we do a market sizing study to be able to understand Good. which 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 courses we are going to train mm -hmm. uh, for which specific industry. Oh, you don't just so, hit to the no, market. No, we just don't go and just right. train people. It's very intentional and very targeted. Mm -hmm. Um, so one of them is the financial sales service, and this is for people who work within the financial sector. It could mm -hmm. be banks, insurance company, um, microfinancing organization. We also have direct sales, and this is for people who work in the distributorship of products, mostly right. fast-moving consumer goods. Um, and then we have retail and restaurant, mm -hmm. um, and this is for stewards or waiters who work in small restaurants, uh, per se. Um, and then we've got... Um, customer service program, and right. these are people who work in any customer service back end, whether mm -hmm. it's a call center, back end process. We recently joined, uh, started uh, a program we've just piloted in Mombasa. We've had our first graduates. It's called yeah. the Food and Beverage Program. Mm -hmm. um, and this is meant to cater to the tourism, tourism industry down there. at the coast. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's been, it's, we've run it for the last six weeks. We've had our first graduates. Uh, actually, it happened last week. All right. Um, we have placed 50% of them into actual jobs. We are looking wow. for the other jobs for the other 50%. Um, and overall, um, you know, we do this a lot with the support of the employers. We have about 250 employment partners wow, who just amazing. hired directly from Generation. They give us a call. They tell us we need this number of people. And, and these are them. the same people mm -hmm. that you're telling me off air that you usually sit with before you even begin any course. Correct. To get to have a deliberation and a talk of Correct. some of the gaps that need to be filled up. Exactly. And he has mentioned about um, the opportunity that come with joining the generation. Correct. Generation Kenya. Yes. And one among the things that I noted from Jens is that he noted that after I was done, an opportunity came up. Yes. How, 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 um, how sure am I that once I'm done, I'll get this opportunity? Well, that's a great question. I also, uh, just to add on, there is also the, the, the programs that I mentioned are more soft skills. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that James went through is called uh, an SMO program. It's a technical school. We run it within the export uh, processing zones mm -hmm. in Kenya, in Nairobi, and Mombasa, in factory. Um, so that is a technical program that you actually get the technical oh. job. Um, yeah. You do the technical skills. But what we do is that we assure them that whenever you get into a gen generation program, we will assure you an interview, definitely. Mm -hmm. You are guaranteed of getting an interview with an employer. Wow. And since you already understand and you are up to 85% uh, ready uh, as far as what the employer needs, then it's, it's a very small percentage that you need to learn from the employer once you get the job. And this is just probably about their products, their processes, internal so that things with that teaching, specific program. Right. So that is why you're teaching about the three branches that you are so much emphasizing on. That is the skills and, you know, all this kind skills of stuff. So as, uh -huh. yeah. Right, because we have a negative mindset within us. Um, well, I, I wouldn't really call it <laughs> negative. Uh -huh. I would kind of say you need to be prepared for the work. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the universities are preparing people or not? They are not. Well, it, it really depends. Uh -huh. um, I think um, there is a lot of collaboration that is happening. Uh, with the universities. In right. fact, we are partnering with some of the universities, like Pony University is one of our partners. And the idea is to see how we can get, you know, our graduates ready for employment. That's the most important thing for us. Um, right. And we feel that what employers really need and what, you know, the, the people out there, um, there's, there's a bit of a gap. It's for entry level, mm -hmm. not for managerial and mm -hmm. stuff, uh, yeah, yeah. For, for, for entry level. Mm -hmm. And that's where generation comes in, and that's where we try to bridge that gap. Well, um, of mm -hmm. course, as, as we move ahead, we'll continue to partner with universities, we'll continue to partner with employers, we'll wow. continue to design new programs, uh, all geared towards reaching as many youth as we can. Uh, our initial plan was and a million youth employed. Right. We're yeah. going to come to statistics in a few, but I want to come back to uh, to the veteran, the guru, yes. you know, as, as, as he said. The uh, man himself. The man, <laughs> all right, the man himself. I love the flower you're putting on. Thank man. you very much. It's called right. lapel pin. Lapel. <laughs> all right, you're looking good. Anyway, okay. um, you, you talked about uh, you left for Qatar to go and join a company. Yes. Then you came back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing in Kenya? This. So in Kenya right now, mm -hmm. I um, I do several stuff. All right. I make these bags. All right. This is a travel bag. Mm -hmm. It's made out of uh, pieces of kitenge like material. Probably can ho help hold it for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's made out of uh, kitenge material, mm -hmm. and it has sponge inside and a lining inside to make it firm and durable. Mm -hmm. And the straps are very very firm, 
mm -hmm. they, and they, are, they go all the way down there they, so that the, the bag stays in shape. All so right. this is what I do. And all this is my creativity mm -hmm. from the skill I got from generation. Otherwise, if I did not get that skill, I would not have made uh, such beautiful things as these. Eh? Also, right. as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt, a mm -hmm. normal shirt, but it has been decorated. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is also what I do. All right. And probably I can just yes, you uh, can. Uh -huh. I can just show other things that I do inside here. Wow, there's a hood. Yeah, this is a hood. Uh -huh. So normally in the uh, you know where in other places mm -hmm. you would get this at two thousand mm -hmm. five hundred shillings, mm -hmm. but what I do I buy these uh, hoods uh, down at Gikomba, buy the kitenge for my uh, buy the kitenge and then I decorate like this mm -hmm. and I'm able to earn a living from this job, uh, even so when I'm not employed <laughs> I'm still paying all my rents mm -hmm. I'm still uh, feeding myself I am. Let me say, I'm at a good place because the generation <laughs> gave me the skill. So these are thousands of places. Yes, these are thousands, Bob. Uh -huh. uh, all, uh, almost even, I think, more than 50% off uh -huh. from the normal market trace, which is uh, 2,500. 500. Right. Yes. Okay, so everything that you've used here is, is everything is local? Everything is local. This one is bought here, made here. It's, it's, it's made in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so even what the shirt that you're wearing? Still yeah, even the, the shirt I'm wearing, uh -huh. it's uh, it's properly decorated, as you can mm -hmm. see. It's very beautiful. Well, what do you call this deco? What do you call it? Well, this kitenge is called the shiki kitenge. Right. And uh, it's uh, the way the shiki kitenge is printed. It's printed in such a way when you cut off the floral part and the boundary, then then iyo kitenge meisha. So you just decorate like this and. You know, it's 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 appealing to the eye. Mm -hmm. People just love it. So mm. when people and you know when people love something, they want to be to have that something for themselves. Oh, James, you got your own shop. Well, I got my own shop. Uh -huh. I operate from Kikuyu, mm -hmm. but mainly my customers are from my online uh, my online sites. Mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, Facebook and Twitter as at it's James Mwangi. And then I also run an online magazine. All it's right. called uh, Zinduka Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, you can find it on issue.com and also on Facebook as Zinduka Kenya magazine. That's where I put my all my stuff. CSCA, I told you I, I, I am a journalist. Yes, you are. So I put my journalism there. So about the talker? Isha talker, in fact. I've uh, fortunately just last week. Uh -huh. We published our second edition right. of the Zinuka magazine, where we have uh, where we have taken on the challenge of becoming the champions of technical skills here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I have my story there. There is the government side of the story, and um, a lot of things are happening, uh, you know, in the country. And one of the things I would like to tell young people is that we are always being told that we are the youths of to, uh, we, we are the, the leaders of tomorrow uh -huh. the future and everything uh -huh. there's something i would like to add there that yes youths are the future but the future is technical and mm -hmm. technical does not retire the future is technical as you the say the future is technical <laughs> so right. go join the narration get into into their programs and i tell you you will be ready for the market you will be absorbed immediately because I was absorbed immediately because I was actually getting trained in the in the job mm. place. I, lo I love even the way the way you talk, you you articulate your points. That's quite that's quite good as a journalist. You have to be, you know. Of course. I love the way you've done it. <laughs> Let me come back to you, uh, 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 Kim. Huh? Yeah. We, we we are looking at the statistics as we as you had mentioned earlier on. Do you think we are preparing the young people, even as you said about what is really there in the market? Well, um, I think there are quite a number of things that are changing. The mm -hmm. way the many industries are, if you look at, every industry has got a digital component to it, mm -hmm. whether it's media, whether it's agriculture, whether it is uh, financial sales, whichever industry. We need to think of what are the jobs that are available now yes. and whether they will be available 10, 20 years down the line. And that is the skill that we need to build today mm -hmm. uh, for people to be ready for the world as it's changing. Um, it's not something new that has happened. It's something that continues to happen in every part of the world over a period of time. And uh, for us, I think we need to look deeply at um, 
the education infrastructure, the quality of education that we give, the internship opportunities that we give, the collaboration that we have between um, you, you and know, other companies. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, the, the employers mm -hmm. and, and of course the, the training fraternity. Um, we have to look at the legislation that is going in place. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, investment being done in the TVETs, in the Technical yeah, Vocational yeah, sure. Training Institute. We have had CDAC come along and, um, you know, get into a framework of, you know, certifying the skills that, that have been done in the TVET industry. I think it's a good start. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if we all collaborate, um, everybody within that space, um, then we will be building a better future. Um, we also have to look at, in some essence, some level of self-employment, mm -hmm. which is what at generation we are also thinking about. We understand that formal jobs and formal employment will only take us so far. So we are in the process of also thinking around how do we come up with an entrepreneurship program? Uh, who, which partners do we need? How do we go about the funding? Uh, what kind of training do we give? And what kind of business incubation support do we give over time? Mm -hmm. So we have to all be thinking ahead around this idea of youth employment. Because for sure, the average age um, you know, in Africa is about 20, 20, 23 to 25 years of age. Mm -hmm. um, that means there's a lot that needs to be done for these people and for, right. us to, on, and for our youth to have jobs over the long term. All right. The marketplace is quite uh, growing yeah. in a very, very fast speed and rate. Yeah. And we, we are trying to look at some of the things that we can venture into. People mm -hmm. are being told there's uh, an overflow in some fields and everything else and then he brought in the issue of self-employment yeah the question at hand probably someone who is sitting at home will be asking is we are told about self-employment self-employment mm -hmm. looking at the economic state of the country people yeah. are shutting down yeah which are the best opportunities you can say for sure young people can venture into these as of now well as 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 james said definitely manufacturing would be the 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 easy easiest if you have the skills mm -hmm. for it. So yeah. You need the skills. Yeah. Um, secondly, I think would be a better advanced form of agriculture. Mm -hmm. um, there's good, there's a, there's a way you should think around, we should also think around tapping into jobs that are out there, like for example, our business process outsourcing jobs are available mm -hmm. um, and they contribute a, a big chunk in, into what the youth can do. Uh, you go to sites like guru.com, elance.com, yeah have the technical skills, you can do some of these jobs that are available internationally. Um, so we have to think about um, just not limiting ourselves to, you know, working for, you know, a certain institution in a certain capacity. Mm -hmm. You have to think about what do I do um, with what I have right now, with the resources that I have, with the technical knowledge that I have and with the opportunities that I have. All right, yeah. we'll be coming back to that in just a few, but I want us to watch a clip uh, uh, from the Generation Kenya. And uh, I hope it's ready, the clip, uh, Yes. I've just seen something that is quite noteworthy. Yeah. Ninety percent yes. of the youth are unemployed in Kenya. Well, it's between is it ninety percent of the youth are unemployed. I've seen that. Okay. Um, Running, like, and I was like so much interested. Like ninety percent of the unemployed, I think. Well, I think it's if you look at the factors, if formal employment is uh -huh. one that would contribute to that number. But once you bring in uh, the in, uh, the entrepreneurs and informal employment, the number would be much lower, right. especially between the ages of 18 to 24. I think the number is about 8 to 10 percent. Our team is our program seek to impact the lives of the 90 percent of unemployed Kenyans who yes. are below yes. 35 years of age. Yes, yes. All right. So who are unemployed mm -hmm. or underemployed. Under, right. yeah, it means that you might have a job or you might be doing something, but it's not really able to sustain mm -hmm. uh, your basic day-to-day -day needs. And therefore, you can come to our programs and then we will, once you go through the process, uh, you will most likely get a job where you will earn above minimum wage. All right. What, what are the requirements for one to join you? Um, well, it depends on the program. Mm -hmm. So like the program that James did, which is the sewing machine operator program, um, you just need a KCP certificate. That's it. That's okay. Uh, are we uh, talking about KCC or KCPE? Ah, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. KCP, sorry, sorry. K for the technical program, right. eh? KCP. KCP uh -huh. The one you go up to standard eight. That's it. 
that's the one that we need for any technical program, which is the sewing machine operator. We take anybody Actually, with that. The, you had said the right thing. It's me who was like in a big shock, like okay. KCPE, you know? Yes. KCPE. Wow. Right. But for the other mm -hmm. industries, um, we need somebody who has a minimum of a D plus, mm -hmm. KCSC. But that does not mean that we do not take people who've got higher education. Yeah. Um, it's just a minimum qualification. Mm -hmm. That's just the bare minimum that you need. If you have any other form of tertiary education, it's perfectly okay. If you've got higher than a D plus, it's perfectly okay. We'll admit you into all our other courses. Where, 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 where are your school? Where are your branches of school based? Okay. Where best? All right. So we are currently in 23 counties in Kenya. Wow. You're going uh, to hit 25. 23, 23, rather, 23 counties in Kenya, uh, in 40 locations, and you know from Nairobi, Mombasa, Nakuru, Naivasha, Eldoret, uh, Kisumu, Migori, Siaya, Kakamega, okay. Bungoma. Uh, the, the list you goes on. The country. Yes, we we almost everywhere, mm -hmm. other than the northeastern part, which is something that we're also thinking of how to get to get into northeastern. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, it, it's quite lovely of how of how you've talked about uh, you have ventured into. Uh, uh, what exactly? When exactly did you come to Kenya? Uh, well, we started five years ago. Oh, still the same for for the global. Yes. All right, that that's really good, and we we applaud you for that. Let me come to to you, James. Uh, yes. You've talked about what you you went there for three months. Yes. Uh, probably. Let, let me. Our yeah. course is three months. Well, the the courses are different. Uh -huh. um, now the one that James took because it's a technical program, but you know we that is mostly run within the EPZ factories is the longest. It takes from 8 to 12 weeks. Oh. However, we have programs that take as little as 4 weeks, uh, but majority is between 4 to 6 weeks. All right, all right, all right. Good camp, pass it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but probably someone is asking, how much do I need to pay okay. to join, to okay. be a student and everything else? All right, that's a great question. So there is a commitment fee, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the program that you will take, between 1500 to 3000 That's it. That's all you have to For everything? For everything. And you're good to go. And you're good to as go. As cheap as it is, you can hit Generation Kenya and yes. get your course ready to go. Correct. You don't have to get um, to be a millionaire. To do no, you, you don't need to be a millionaire. In fact, um, the reason why we... Uh, we subsidize the cost that much is because we want to really have a big impact. So we know that when youth go through this program, they get employed. There's a big impact around, you know, the, where they come from, mm -hmm. the community where they come from, their family, uh, the employers, the government. So it's it, it, the whole ecosystem uh, kind of benefits for when people get employed. All right, James, let me come to you now. Yes. Let's talk about your business. Mm -hmm. how, how, how are you gaining through it? Is it, is it quite good in Ashikapuama? Well. I started this business immediately I finished the training. Mm -hmm. So I was working and doing business, working and doing big business at the same time. Future CEO. Exactly. Thank yeah. you very much. So it's been uh, almost 16 months now, a right. year and four months into the business. And I can say that uh, it is the only thing that I've been doing. Okay, the skills I, I got from generation are what I have been using to sustain myself the clothes I wear, the food I eat, the, the, the rent I pay, everything. The tithe I give to the church, I get it from the technical skills that I got from, from generation. And uh, what I'm feeling is that I am growing each and every time. Each right. and every day I'm growing, each and every day I'm growing, each and every time. Uh, being able to use my skill to actually create, uh, you know, to, to be quite innovative. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, my wallet, apparently, of course, wallets always get worn out. <laughs> so I was thinking about <laughs> going to the shop and buying a wallet, but I thought, why should I buy a wallet? Wow. Well, I, well, I can make a wallet. Mm -hmm. This is a wallet made of kitenge, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it, it's, it's made... Okay. Don't open it, okay. don't. <laughs> I'm finding there is something right here, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm prompted, you know, to pull up something. <laughs> yeah, do not pull any money. Uh -huh. So I made that wallet. And into one an hour of thinking and cutting and stitching, yeah. I had such a beautiful thing. Well, it looks so in nice. In fact, there has never been any kitenga. Have you ever seen anyone? So any for, for the first time, we are launching seen. these at whatever you know. <laughs> in the world, I tell you, courtesy of James through generations. The CEO himself? Yes. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'll have to say that uh, this, as I said, technical does not retire. You keep on growing, mm -hmm. you keep on inventing, you keep on being creative and innovative wow. just because you got a skill. Mm -hmm. And I'll just say that uh, uh, when you do these things, mm -hmm. eh, you rise above the notion of I have to get employed mm -hmm. 
and you stop you, you you know you stop the old saying of oh serikali hatuna kazi oh serikali saidia ingilia exactly you can employ yourself and i tell you that uh, the best thing to do at where we are in the in, in our you know in the country mm -hmm. and in the world is to have something you're doing yourself yeah. let you give into the world not always taking from the world taking not just from receiving the world. yes mm -hmm. also give something to the world that is what legacy is what you give <laughs> to the world not what you what you got away from the world those are same words by dr nkonsana moyo the ceo of mandela institute uh, in zimbabwe yeah I, I, I love the way you know man man of wisdom <laughs> I, I love the way you're going about it and I'm loving what you guys are teaching these young men yeah. to do yeah. and this is just an example of what yes. these yes. young men and women mm -hmm. have been trained to do correct and James you're just one of the examples and yes. big up on yourself <laughs> you know the success success is in the, in the success as you know well I always say that uh, I may not be living so flamboyantly, yeah. but uh, my life is in a good place. My life is in, is in a good place. I can never sleep hungry with a technical skill in my, in my position. And I add on that skills and talent. But mm -hmm. okay, when it's a mess up plus talent skill, you're good to go. Yes. Because at the end of the day, even if you are so much talented, you need your skills to grow yourself. Yeah. Let me give each and every one of you uh, a few seconds, just a few seconds mm -hmm. to give us your parting shot. Um, thank you very much. So as, as we look forward to next year, mm -hmm. we want to train close to 7,000 students. This year we've just uh, finished almost about 6,000 6, graduates. Next mm -hmm. year uh, we want to go up to 7,000. And for us to do that, we would love for the youth to come and, mm -hmm. you know, come to our centers, visit our centers. To know where we are, uh, just go to our web website, kenya.generation.org. Right. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Um, just we are, Anyone is welcome to join. Mm -hmm. We are doing our graduation for the people who went through our program um, this year. Uh, it will be on the 28th of February at the KICC. And you're very welcome to join. Definitely. I'll do my best and be there, yes, of course. Yes, and yes. of course, uh, we should everybody else. Mm -hmm. All right, many thanks, many thanks, Kim, for making time to be with us. Let's have the future CEO. Yes. Give us your brief parting shot. Thank you very much. Then, well, what I would like to tell young people like me uh -huh. between the ages of uh, 18 to 35 mm -hmm. is what I said earlier, that youth are the future, the future is technical, and technical does not retire. And uh, to achieve that, um, I partnered with uh, several people and we, have, we are in the process of putting together an, a conference that will be the first ever technical conference in the country, whereby we are going to bring stakeholders and institutions stake in, and NGOs like uh, Generation, we hope they are going to join us, as we impart this, this knowledge into the young people to tell them that this is the way and this is the only way that can put money into your pockets. And uh, you can uh, find me mm -hmm. on uh, my social media if you want right. any of the products that I have here. Uh -huh. The hood, the bag, the, the, uh, the wallets as well. Yes, as I got this one. On Facebook, on uh, Twitter and Instagram, I'm at it's James Mwangi. And you can also like my page. It's called Zinduka Kenya. That's where you will uh, be able to follow all our preparations for the conference God. and uh, oh. can i send salams to some people who please do your heart right. please like go ahead for the next few seconds shout please. out to my 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 dad uh -huh. unfortunately he's in heaven he passed away uh -huh. three years all ago right. uh and also my mother watching from dagoretti and also there's a woman who who you know you know people say that you have your biological mothers and you have other mothers so I can shout out my my spiritual mother, Mrs. Ngidaiga, right. and my and lastly my my high school classmate who told me to shout him out. Yes, yes. Just Musheru in Eldoret. He also sells clothes. <laughs> All right. So we are in the same business. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. All right. Do you have anyone to give a shout out to? <laughs> Probably for you. You know, fathers really have a, either my my wife and my kids and my I'm glad. <laughs> I think you just wrapped them up. <laughs> <laughs> I know for many it's yeah. just like my kids, you know, and my wife. Yeah. Happy holidays, and yeah. you're done with that. <laughs> many thanks, guys, for making time uh, to be with us, you know, so teaching about us, skills yeah. and talent. Yeah. Yeah. Big up, Generation Kenya, for what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah. from it, I got myself a wallet. Big up, of course, to James. But Naski Kona Kitundani.
So sitatoa saa hizi but <laughs> right after this natoa tu kuna kadhaa hapa. I just going to pull it. Anyway, my name is Karanja Alex. Very more is coming up next. Don't go anywhere.